so boring. Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a motorized bicycle. Nice and simple, no BS, some tips and advice along the way. So, let's get started. Oh, it's been a while since I bought my first kit. So now I got basically everything I need to build a bike. I got the half gallon interesting style tank that I've never had before. Something to note if your stock tank starts leaking. It's usually from the welded studs. Don't even bother trying to fix it. Upgrade to a 4 liter tank. I bought the ADCC engine kit which has a two piece top end. I want to make a series of videos on this engine. These acorn nuts are actually made for cosmetics only. Blame it on China for trying to save a few bucks. Throw these away and use actual nuts. If you want an easy boost of power for free, take the cap off or something else which actually just increases airflow, especially since the carburetor is tuned a little too rich from factory. The carver, maybe even filter too, actually chokes the air, making it more rich. You'll actually improve airflow, which leans out the air fuel mix. Then we have a clutch lever. Those actually work okay. This throttle setup has a kill switch that shorts the circuit to kill the engine. Then we have our cheap Chinese chain that's actually too wide for our stock sprockets. I advise you to upgrade to a gold chain. Ah yes, the cheap piece of CDIs. If you wonder why your engine's not starting, it's because of bad connections or simply a bad CDI. I'll show you how to fix troubleshoot that later. These springs are for the clux cable. I don't really use them. Obviously this is a chain tensioner. I really advise you not to use it. At least for the drive chain. Don't be lazy and properly tension the chain. I'll show you how later. Before I start up the engine, I want to make sure that the ignition system is working okay. Something to remember, the magnet gets weak over time from heat, to the point it's not producing enough voltage. I actually had to deal with this before. I could not get into the power band at 40 miles an hour. It turns out I had weak magnets. So yeah, CDIs can also fail. Upgrade to a catnip CDI and KTM 50 magnets from hybrid power bikes. Make sure you still have the key for the magnet. Crucial for timing. And make sure the magnet is not backwards. Now I got the bike all cleaned up. I just need to lower the seat, make it more comfortable, and get rid of these shifters. Before you install the carburetor, make sure you have the o-ring in there. You're gonna need that to prevent air leaks. If you don't have it, well, at least use gasket maker or a TV or something. Do not use rubber. And I hate to say this, but you probably should tighten the bolts a lot more, but not too much, to prevent the engine from shifting to the left, which can actually loosen the chain. I think this is because the front tube is kind of too small. It's 1.25 inch. I would recommend 1.5 or 1.65 inch. Now we need to install the rag joint, which I absolutely hate. Definitely upgrade your wheels with six bolts hubs eventually. I do not recommend putting like above 5 to 10 horsepower on your rag joint. You'll break the spokes. This is why girls want to date mechanics. Because we are good with our fingers. I mean, I think it's obvious why I hate rag joints because they are never perfectly aligned or centered. I tried using the zip ties trick before, it didn't really work. Because of how bad rag joints are, you have to put some effort into making them more straight or something. And now to tension the chain, don't use the chain tensioner. All you have to do is to move the rear axle to the front and then shorten the chain, link it back up and then adjust maybe half inch of slack. And that's it. Remember, the chain will get loose over time due to stretching, so you'll have to tighten a few times. Make 
Be careful not to tighten the bolts on your tank too much. If you don't have that rubber gasket thing, then use some Teflon tape or something. You can use WD-40 on the hoses. It absolutely matters which wires goes to which. Black to black, red to blue, or blue to red, etc. For the kill switch wires, it doesn't matter. The spark plug included in the engine kit, throw that away, and use number 8 plugs. You can use WD-40 silicone or air compressor to make it easier. You can use WD-40 or something to lubricate the cable and the throttle tube on the handlebar. It absolutely doesn't matter which color goes to which. It's a kill switch for God's sake. The throttle cables in the kits are actually too long, so either shorten the cable and make a cable stop in the housing, or at this point, just wrap it around the frame. And then the clock cable, I can go ahead and shorten it. It's recommended to have a little bit of play in between the actuator cam and the bucking bar. And the build is completed. For braking, just use 32 to 1, start it up, warm it up, and ride it. That's it. Also, for stock engines with low performance, use 87 octane. <laughs> Wow, 33, wow, okay, I did not expect that, 10, 44, 24 inch, I believe, I think that's 24 inch, oh it's 26, and I hit 33, and it's a little bit too rich.